Now today we are going to see calculating time. What time do you go to school at? Some say you go to school at 9. Some say you go to school at 9.30. So how do you see the time? You see the time with the help of a clock at your school or home or your wristwatch. Now if you take a clean look at your clock, you can see two hands are there. One is called the long hand and one is called the short hand. The short hand is called the hour hand and the long hand is called the minute hand. Now hour and minute are the standard units for calculating time. You must know how to find the hour and minute to find the time. The shorter one is called the hour hand and the longer one is called the minute hand. Each time the the longer one moves to the next number, it means 5 minutes have passed by. So for 1 hour, you need 60 minutes. Now here, the shorter hand is at 6 and the longer one is at 12, which means this is 6 o'clock. Here, the shorter hand is at 9, longer one is at 12, which means this is 9 o'clock. Here, the shorter hand is at 5, the longer one at 12, which denotes it is 5 o'clock. Here, the short one is at 10, long one is at 12, which means this is 10 o'clock. Here, the short hand is at 8, long one at 12, which means it is 8 o'clock. Here, short one at 4, long one at 12, which means this is 4 o'clock. Now quarter of an hour is called one fourth of an hour or 15 minutes. 15 minutes can also be no, uh, called as quarter of an hour. One half of an hour or half an hour is 13 minutes. Three quarter of an hour or three by fourth an hour of an hour is 45 minutes now. Quarter of an hour is nothing but 15 minutes. One half or half an hour is 30 minutes. Three quarter of an hour is 45 minutes. Now here, if you see the short hand is in 3, the long hand is in 1, which means 5 minutes. This is 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 1 hour gets completed. So here, you can write this as 3, 5 or 5 minutes past 3. In the same way, here it is in 2, which means 5, 10. 3, 10 or 10 minutes past 3. It is past 3. So, 10 minutes has passed 3. So, you can write this as 3, 10 or 10 minutes past 3. Same way here, you can write this as 5, 10, 15. 3, 15 or 15 minutes past 3 or quarter past 3. You can write this as 3.15 or quarter past, quarter past 3 or 15 minutes past 3. This you can write this as 3, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can write this as 3, 30 or half an hour past 30 or half an hour past 30. Here, you can write this as, see I have calculated 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 3, 45 or quarter to 4. So you just have 15 minutes left for 4 o'clock. So I am writing quarter to 4 or 15 minutes to 4. Now here, the minute hand moves from one clock number to the next number which means 5 minutes have passed by. The minute hand takes 6 
50 such minutes to complete one rotation that is called one hour. So each gap will be 5 minutes. So it takes 60 minutes to complete one hour. Now we shall see the clock and write the time. Here, short hand is at 1, the long hand is at 5, 10, 15, 20. So this will be 120. Here, short hand is at 5, long hand 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So this will be 540. Here, the short hand is at 7. Long hand is at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this will be 7, 25. Now here, the short hand is near to 9, but it is not yet 9. It still lies in near 8. It is not at 9. So this will be 8, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Now we shall fill in the blanks to show our daily activities. Draw the hour and in minute and on the clock phases. Now here, what time do you get up at? Some get up at 6, some get up at 7, but mostly all of you get up at 6 o'clock. So you write 6 here. Now small hand goes here and the bigger hand goes here. What time do you take bath at after you wake up? You take bath at say 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Okay, we write 6.30. Now I take bath at 6.30. So the small hand here, so it's a 30 again, the big hand also here for a 30. Small hand and the big hand together. Now you have your, my breakfast time is at, shall we say at um, 7.30 will you have your breakfast? Yes, we'll write 7.30. So 7, 30. I go to school at, how, when do you go to school at? What time? 8 o'clock. For each child it is different but I am just writing down the common timings. Then your lunch time, when do you have your lunch time at school? Some schools at 12, some schools at 11.40, some schools at 1. So I take 11, for, say we'll take 12 o'clock as your lunch time. So 12, both the hands on the same place. The big hand as well as the small hand. Lunch at 12. School gets over at 3 o'clock. My evening play time, when do you go to play? You always want to play like you like to play very much. When do you go to play? You say at 5 o'clock do you go to play? I'll write at 5. You go to play at 5 o'clock. My study time, what time do you study at your home? What time do you study? Shall I say 7.30? Do you study by 7.30? I'll write 7.30.